All right, welcome to UniRock. I have an awesome tutorial for you. I don't know how many other streamers ask me, UniRock, how do you show your keyboard on your stream? Well, I'm about to show you. So let's get right into it right now. First off, you gotta open up a window and type N-O-H-B-O-A-R-D, no board. And right at the top, free no board, open broadcaster software. Now, you're gonna go to your OBS studio, that's why I have it up. You're gonna click sources and add a, um, actually, let me just go to my keyboard source so I can show you what kind of source to add. You go to sources, you can do this in regular OBS, slobs, which is Streamlabs OBS. Okay, so once you add a, a window capture, you do no board, once you launch it, and window tile must match, capture cursor, whatever, and hit done. Now the secret to this is once you launch no board, this right here, once you launch it, you have to leave it up. It'll automatically put itself off the screen and I'm gonna show you a trick there too. Don't worry, I got you. So what you do is once you got no board up, you right click it and you load a keyboard, okay? So you could go to like, the one I usually use when gaming is J-O-A-O-7-Y-T and then you can click over here and look right here. Look, see my keyboard changing? These are the keyboards that I've been using for a long time when gaming because it gives all the gaming keys and your mouse inputs so that people see what's going on. But I have my own that I've made myself and I'm sure some of you are gonna say, Unirock, how in the world did you make your own keyboard set? For tutorials and stuff, I want you to see all my key presses. So I built my own and I'm gonna teach you how to do it right now because it's super easy. So what I did was, is I went and loaded a keyboard with, there's so many to choose from. You can load a keyboard that you like, that fits your needs. Sometimes you don't want all the keys. Sometimes you just want a few. You can build this to your own specifications, okay? Make sure you understand that. What I did was, is I found the one that I liked, this one, except it had the top keys on it. So what I did was, is I right click no board. Can you guys see that? Yeah, you can see that. Right click no board and I hit start editing. Once you're editing, you can right click again and you can edit your keyboard style to change the background color, which of course I just put green on and then use a chroma key inside of filters. You know what I'm saying? You got me. But loose keys, you can, um, that's your bit background colors. Pressed keys is the color it turns when you press a key. Then you can do the outline, of, that's very important. The outline makes all the difference. Watch when I press a key, like A, do you see how my I have a black border um, on a red pre key press? It really helps to have a, an outline. And also, um, make sure you, my outline is red without it pressed, but my outline is black when I press it. I may change that in the future though, but hey, that's the cool part about this. You can do whatever you want, peeps. You can even right click and load a new, uh, let me stop editing. You can load your own um, keyboard profile that you build yourself, okay? It's just a image file and the key press is done in, in program. So you don't have to do any weird programming or editing or anything. So I just wanted to make sure you guys knew how to do this. Um, for one, so that I answer everyone's questions all at once, but you know what? This really adds a layer of awesomeness to your gaming streams, your tutorial streams. Hell, just when you're doing regular stuff, this adds that little tiny thing that shows that you know what you're doing when you're streaming. And that's what people want when they watch you. So take it from me, the Stream Master General himself, Unirock. Get yourself no board, N-O-H-B-O-A-R-D, and do it, my friends. Hook it up. Get your stream looking fantastic. Hey, I don't want that song. Uni Rock, you need to fix your playlist, right? All right, guys. Thanks for tuning in. I love being able to teach you guys some of the stuff I figured out in live streaming. Do you have any questions? You can email me at unirocktv at gmail.com, but better off just uh, tweet me on Twitter at sign unirocktv. And if you appreciate the fact that I want to share all my stream knowledge with everyone else, please press subscribe, like, and please follow me over on Twitch at unirocktv. All right, guys, I'll see you in just a few minutes. I'm going to be making videos going live all day. But until the next time I see you, be nice in those comments, y'all. Those are people on the other side, and you should always be kind.
Just never be afraid to speak your mind. And you know I'll see you in the next one. <laughs>